banned on social media for this. There are three or four things that I've posted um, in the last few weeks that have had me banned on <coughs> LinkedIn and on <coughs> Facebook. And I wanted to share them with you. I suppose um, partly I want to have a rant. Partly I want to warn you. Um, because there's all sorts of shenanigans going on right now in the world. Um, and then the third part is what you can actually do about it. Because um, censoring and deplatforming and shadow banning, which is almost worse than banning. At least if you're banned, you go and find another platform and you're shadow banned and you think you can get some reach. But you can't. That's almost worse. It's a bit like um, you're with your husband or wife. They don't talk to you. They don't communicate with you. You don't know where they are, but they haven't dumped you yet. Just dump me. So it's all gone a bit wild. But did you see yesterday I posted about the male female boxer? Well, that was banned on LinkedIn for hate speech. And um, I think that's pretty um, outrageous. There was nothing hateful about saying that someone who is either genetically or semi-genetically a man should not be in women's boxing or someone has been banned in a previous, um, you know, I think it was banned in the world championships and allowed in the, the Olympics. Um, and the person would knock me out. Um, and LinkedIn called that hate speech. I posted on LinkedIn saying that if women want to be taken really seriously in business, they shouldn't post selfies of their boobs and they shouldn't have their nipples showing. That got banned within 12 hours for hate speech, even though that was going wildly viral. Most women agreed with me. Um, and actually, I wasn't hating on anyone. I just said, look, if you, if you want to be on OnlyFans or you're a model, great, it's probably good. But if you want to be taken seriously as an entrepreneur, you probably shouldn't show your boobs and your nipples. Um, it was no more than that. And that got banned for hate speech. Uh, on Facebook, if you use the L word... And I'm not even talking about anything outrageous. You know, that political party that's red, that begins with L. As soon as I use the L word, then um, that, that content gets no reach. Um, as, sh as soon as I were, use the um, Donald word, not Donald Duck, but someone else who's called Donald, who's not Donald Duck. As soon as I use that, that gets no reach. Or, you know, maybe we look to boost the post and they won't allow us to boost the post. So you can't talk against um, men in women's boxing. You can't talk about um, overshowing your body. You can't use the you can't talk about a political party. You can't use the word. And what is this world coming to? This is. Absolutely ridiculous. Now, part of me thinks, well, Facebook, Meta, Instagram, LinkedIn, Google, YouTube, you know, blah, 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 blah. Their platform, they can do what they want. The problem is they tricked us. Or we will give you a, a neutral, um, unbiased search engine. And now if you search Donald, if you search President Donald on Google, it says President Donald Duck. And if you search something about Donald, Kamala Harris comes up. <laughs> what? But we were naive enough to think that they would be neutral. So we gave them all of our data. And with Meta and Facebook, um, it is clear that they are left. And so if you have a little bit of a pop at the left, by the way, politics is about popping the other side. You know, you need a shadow um, cabinet. You need a party that challenges the party in position. Otherwise, the party in power will do whatever they want. So the other party is really important and criticising, not trolling and hating, but criticising the policies of the other party is absolutely vital in holding them to account. But you can't do that on Facebook. It's ridiculous. And I respect the fact that it's their platform and their channel, but the rules are unclear. They call it hate speech when it's not. They ban you without any explanation. You don't talk to a human. It's a robot that bans you. An algorithm. The algorithm re removed my last two posts on LinkedIn for hate speech. There's nothing hate about it. In fact, it's good for society. Do we want men in women's boxing? Or do we want pe people who have been uh, are too far towards being a man? No, we don't. It's unsafe. It's unfair. How can that be hate speech? 
And maybe we just need a new class. We need men's boxing, women's boxing, and anyone who's in the line between a man and a woman, they can have their own class. You have weight divisions. If we put lightweights in with heavyweights, there would be an outrage. There would be an outrage, yet we can put men with women. Or nearly men with women. It's just wrong. It's not hate speech. I don't hate the person. So anyway, this shit is going on left, right and centre. And I suppose I needed a bit of a rant. Thanks for being my therapist. Send me an invoice. But actually, part of me thinks it's their platform. Do what they want. Part of me thinks if we don't all stand up, speak out, nothing changes. Our mission is also commission. Anything you don't speak up about, you are implicit. If you don't use your platforms to speak out about these things, you are implicit. You know, I, I spoke out a lot about lockdown. Um, didn't about Brexit because I didn't really understand it at the time. I should have spoken out more about Brexit. And um, if there's any kind of lockdown or anything like that, I will be on the streets of London. I know I should have done more. And I did a lot. And a lot of people did nothing because they were scared. And I'm scared of getting shadow banned and cancelled and deplatformed and all of this kind of shit as well. I don't want to be any of that. And I'm trying to not say it in a hateful way. I don't, I don't hate on individuals. But until we speak up and stand, stand up and speak out about these things, nothing will change. OK, so what can you do about it? Um, you can speak up. You can share my content. But really, the best thing you can do about it is to become wealthy. Because if you are independently and personally wealthy, you can say no to all the things that the governments and central banks want to impose upon you, cashless society, digital currency, all these um, taxes and fines and bans. Uh, you can resist a lot of this. You can pay a good lawyer. There was um, someone who sold his company for half a billion. Um, and he said he's, he's absolutely innocent, but he knows if he wasn't rich, he'd be in prison because he had to spend millions on lawyers to defend himself. So you can only defend yourself against all this bullshit if you are personally independently wealthy. And by the way, I don't just mean about money. I mean hard physical currency, real hard assets. And so this is what I teach in Rob.team. Rob.team is my digital financial freedom platform to help you start and scale a business, make, manage and multiply money and build multiple streams of recurring income. Costs less than 20 pence a day. You can cancel any time. There's no ongoing contract. Uh, and they are literally now waiting for you hundreds of hours of courses, resources and masterclasses to make, manage, multiply more money, build multiple streams of income, get your tax bill down and your income streams up. Go join right now um, if you want to prepare yourself for what's coming. Do you get a choice in who's in government right now? Did you get a choice? Do you get a choice on where your taxes go? Is there an audit of the governments and central banks for us to really figure out where their, our money is going? Simon has said Rob.team is the best investment he ever made. Thank you. I appreciate that, Simon. So if you want to resist all of this, build personal independent wealth, be decentralized. If one platform shuts you down, set up your own or go on another platform, I recommend you join Rob.team. If you want a school of hard knocks, bare knuckle, on the streets, education about what really makes money, then I recommend you join Rob.team. I've done a quarter of a billion in sales. I've got 340 rental units. I've built the UK's largest property and business training company. I've been doing this for nearly 20 years. I've written 19 best-selling books. I broke two world records, you can see behind there, for public speaking. I wrote most of those books. Not, not Arnie's one. Love Arnie's content. So Natasha said, become wealthy equals Rob.team, the best educational platform. So to join, you just type in R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. Rob.team. Go join right now. Costs less than two coffees a month. You can cancel any time. No ongoing contract, so it's no risk. Um... You can see everywhere this cancelling and deplatforming. I mean, look how many people are on this live compared. I have nearly 450,000 followers and look at how many people are on the live. Something, sh something really dodgy is going on. The algorithms feed hate when it suits them to um, get you stuck and at, addicted on their platforms and add revenue and add revenue. And then, and then when, when it's not the hate that they want to perpetuate, then they shadow ban you. They cancel you. Um, Philip has said, do you know if you join Rob.team, you can start making money straight away? Absolutely, Philip, you can. There are multiple masterclasses on starting your business. 
um, hitting 3K in the next 10 days, hitting 10K in the next 30 days, hitting 100K in the next three to six months, step by step um, strategies and tactics to do that. Eric said he's already a member. He needs to sign in. Email support at robmore.com if you need help with your login, your sign in or any kind of admin stuff. Um, because recently, um, when I speak out about men and women's boxing, I get shadow banned and cancelled. When I, sp- when I use the word L, the red party, who are now in power in the UK, I can't say that word without getting um, my content. Basically, they don't show your content to anyone. Shadow ban's worse than an actual ban in, in many ways. Um, and then what else do I talk about? Oh, I, I did a post about women. If they want to be taken seriously in business, maybe they should not show their, their boobs and nipples. Fair enough if you want to be a model. Maybe not if you want to be an entrepreneur. And that got um, within 12. That was going wild, by the way. Most women agreed within 12 hours that, that they banned it for hate speech. It wasn't hate speech. Absolute. How's it hate speech? Um, so you can't fucking say anything right now unless they love it. And unless it serves their purpose for getting you addicted on their platforms. But if I was LinkedIn or Facebook or YouTube or Google, um, would I, you know, use the algorithms to my advantage? I probably would. Um, It is their platform. Maybe I'm wise and smart to work out what the lines are and not cross them. But the problem is, if we all work out what the lines of what the media platforms want and we don't cross them, then we don't leave our house when they say. Then we stick needles in our body when they say. You, you, you know, then we just pay 100% tax when they say. When, when does it stop? This is the problem. So Rob.team is your digital financial freedom platform as well as your financial freedom platform. And some of you are getting thrown out of this live stream as well. I mean, that is mad. I mean, I'm not even saying anything edgy. I'm just saying be personally wealthy. There's certain subjects that platforms don't want me to post about. How's that wrong? It's mad, isn't it? Um, remember, you, the investment in yourself is the best investment you can make. Free advice is worth every penny, but when you pay, you pay attention. I'm just sharing the link in the comments below for Rob.team. Um, and if you join right now, I've got a 12 module, 18 hour Money Mastermind University. Um, that's all the stuff that the central banks and the school system and the governments don't want you to know about money, about how to really make personal wealth. And um, so that would, I, I, well, that is definitely not going to be in schools or universities anytime soon, but it's stuff that really works. Um, you know, I did a little post on LinkedIn. Hopefully they won't ban it. Talking about the seven weird things that really work to make money. And, you know, you'll get told all this fluff. But for example, having a lot of coffee works for me. Having naps in the day works for me. Micromanaging actually works for me. And you're, or you're told all this stuff is bad for you. Uh, you know, and, and on a, a global level, savings is good. No, it's not. Savings go down in value. Investing is good. Oh, you know, get into debt to buy a house or a car or a conservatory. No, they're depreciating liabilities. Get into debt to buy appreciating assets. So I teach you the opposite of what the banking system teaches you because it wants you poor because you are their product. Natasha says she doesn't get notifications anymore. My videos just get millions of views in lockdown. There you go. Anyway, it's not about me moaning. This is about you um, leveraging Rob.team to start and scale a business to avoid the pitfalls that, you know, use me as your crash test dummy of what not to post. Don't use the L word, the red political party in power in the UK. Be careful when you talk about um, men in women's boxing. Be careful, you know, when you give good business advice that's maybe a, a, a bit right and not a bit left. Just be careful. Um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for following me. Thanks for supporting me. Make sure you turn the notifications on. If you don't want to speak up about this because you're worried, share my stuff. I'll speak out for you. Remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything. And remember, there are hundreds of hours of courses, resources and masterclasses in Rob.team waiting for you. Less than 20 pence a day, cancel any time, no ongoing contract. And that special 18 hour Money Mastermind University bonus is waiting for you. I'm actually going to launch that as an online course. I'm going to sort of, um, I'm going to disrupt the school system. So what they teach you for 20, 30 grand a year, I'm going to teach you for 700 quid. I'll do a 700 quid online course. Um, once I've done the thumbnails, it's actually in Rob.team. You can get it um, just for the 20 pence a day. Emma says she's very grateful for my work. Thanks, Emma. So go join Rob.team to get an 18 hour Money Mastermind University um, for less than two coffees a month. I'll see you in Rob.team. Just type in R O B dot T E A M or click one of the links and be careful.